if you can make it personal. It's personal. It starts with me. If all you want is success, and that's all you see, you will not have it. The end game, the aim, the target, is about consistently following a guideline. And so if all you want is the success, if all you want is a trophy, but you don't want a story, a process, if you don't want to be made into something, then you've, you've already missed it. You've already failed. You've already tanked. And so once you get this, everything changes. Everything changes. You cannot have success without process, without purging, without sacrificing. You cannot have it. It is virtually impossible. There's a myriad of things that we have to sacrifice. And there are seasons of sacrifice. And there are sometimes where a series of months you have to sacrifice or a series of days or, or a set of hours where you have to sacrifice. Sacrifice is going to have to become your companion and no longer your enemy. Too many of you think sacrifice is your enemy. Sacrifice is a curse word. Sacrifice is bad. I don't want to sacrifice. Well, guess what? Paradox comes with purpose. You cannot have promise without peril and pain. And so when sacrifice becomes your companion, it is only then that we can begin to step into the process of what is required to climb mountains. Everybody wants to get to the top of the mountain, but nobody wants to climb. Sacrifice is going to build me. Sacrifice is going to prepare me. I'm going to be equipped. I'm going to be conditioned. All of us are holding on to something that is familiar and we are comfortable and it has become our paradigm, our pattern, our way of life. And if we're honest, we can't see ourselves without this thing. What have been the biggest obstacles in your life? What has stopped you? What has hindered you? What has provoked you to get lazy? Hindrances, weights, that are stopping us, that are prohibiting us from advancing. When did you get to the point where you snapped so easily? When you let go so easily? When you gave up so easily? When are we going to step forward? When are we going to march into this thing? I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know what you've been called to do, what you've been called to accomplish, what you've been destined to build. It's time to take a deep dive into the deeper parts of yourself, the parts of you that nobody sees. When you take something personal, it gets personal. I'm not just putting on the front. I'm not just here in public to make you smile and applaud me and support me and make comments and share my video. I'm not here. I make this thing personal. Everything that I do in public, I've done it in private. And so I'm just asking you, don't just scream on a stage or be connected to millionaires or strive to be a CEO or an investor or a politician or an athlete or a musician or a singer. I'm just wondering, can you conquer in the dark? When you make it personal, what you do behind closed doors matters. So I'm just wondering when you're gonna make it personal. And you're going to make it about what it looks like that nobody sees. The part of you that nobody sees, where's your integrity behind the scenes? Come on, where are your values behind the scenes? What do your habits look like behind the scenes? Come on, what kind of work are you putting in behind the scenes? Come on, drop down and give me 50. Come on, write it again. Come on, believe it again. Come on, sing again. Record the song again. Come on, I'm talking to that athlete. I'm talking to that musician. Come on, who are you out there? That philosopher, that engineer, that thought leader, that critical thinker, come on, that captain of industry, I'm talking to you when your personal life lines up with your purpose. Then public authority is yours. You want influence? I'm not talking about just fame. I'm talking about influence, the power to change people's lives. Can you stretch yourself? Can you condition yourself? 
Come on, can you believe again? Can you see it again? Can you write again? Can you make this thing personal? That it doesn't start with the people connected to you. It starts with you. It doesn't even start with your past. It starts with where you are and where you're going. Can you look ahead? Can you stretch for it? Can you condition yourself? Can you prepare yourself for the next thing? Come on, make it personal. It doesn't start with everybody. It starts with me because people will leave you for dead. And then what's your why? What did God put in you? Release it to the world. If it's going to be personal, make it personal. Don't just be great in public, be great in private. What you do in dark, if I pulled up your search history, what would I find? Would you still be an example to the world? If I went through your closet, if I went through your basement, if I went through your attic, if I went through your center council, if I went through your house, how personal is your purpose? Every single day, you are either losing ground or gaining ground. The choice is yours. But this time, make it personal. If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna accomplish it, if you're gonna achieve it, even if you're confused and it's cold and it looks crazy, and you're gonna to need to know the difference between contribution and commitment. Because they're two very different things. See, everybody wants to contribute to destiny, but nobody wants to be committed to destiny. You wanna to contribute to the idea that you can be something. You wanna to contribute to the idea that something's gonna come of the sacrifice that you have made, but you have not sacrificed, you have not suffered you are not committed. When you are committed, you give everything you have. Every single week, every single day, every single hour, every single minute, 720 hours a month, you are beating on your craft. Even when you're at work, you're dreaming, you're thinking, you're vision casting, you're writing it down, making it play, communicating to your destiny connections so that it can become a reality. If you can see it in your head, you can hold it in your hands. But the question I want to answer is, are you committed? I'm just wondering if you are bold enough, daring enough, if you can believe in your dream again, if you can get committed. See, when you get personal, when you make it personal, everything changes. Because you see, you made it about your girlfriend last time, you made it about your boyfriend last time. You made it about your kids last time. And your kids started acting up and then you let the dream go. It's got to start with you and God first. Listen, God put a gift inside of everybody and it's our responsibility to release it to the world. This time, it's personal. So do it for your loved ones. Do it for your wife, do it for your husband, do it for your children, do it for generations to come. Come on, after you're dead and gone, what will they say about what you did? Yes, there's so many people depending on you, but it's got to start with you and the man upstairs. What he put in you, make it personal. Everything in my life breathes and eats this purpose that I have. I gotta make it personal, it's, it's, it starts with me. When it starts with me, it ends with me. I don't know where you are in your game of life. You may be in your third quarter. You may be in your fourth quarter. Come on, you're not gonna live forever, not in this world, come on. You may be in your first quarter, your, your second half, and this time it's gotta be personal. See, last time you were just running through the plays. Last time you were just running the songs that you rehearsed in rehearsal. Last time you were just going through the motions and you got numb, come on, and you got tired and weary, and now you're broken and bitter and angry because you lost. And I'm just wondering if you're courageous enough, bold enough, if you have enough faith, come on, if you have enough inside of you resilience to come back to the scene and make it personal. It's rain, sleet, or snow, keep building. And so this time it's gotta be personal. 
and you may not feel qualified. You may not feel like you are educated enough. You may not feel like you're connected enough. You may not think that enough people are aware of you, cognizant of you, because you don't have a blue check and you're not a celebrity yet. But you gotta work hard in silence. You gotta work when nobody's watching. You gotta sacrifice behind the scenes. You gotta take it personal. When you take it personal, your private life changes. Everybody wants public authority, but nobody wants private discipline. When your habits change behind the scenes, when your private life begins to shift, when you put aside the things that are not serving you, if you can make it personal, it's personal. It doesn't start with them and they. It starts with me. It starts with me. So make it personal. Let yourself go. Fall free into it. Step into it. You are worthy. You are an unrepeatable miracle and there is none like you in all the earth. There will never be another you. Your DNA, your fingerprint, come on, your gait, your presence, your authenticity. Come on, you're special. You're special and you're necessary. The truth of the matter is, how are you so emotionally injured, so mentally drained, so physically fatigued that you have allowed your dream, your destiny to take a back seat to this excuse that you don't have what it takes, that you're not smart enough, that you're not tall enough, that you're not wide enough, that you're not deep enough, that you're not connected enough, that you don't know enough people. You keep comparing yourself to that person and this person. When will the excuses stop? you see your purpose bigger than your excuse I don't know your name but I know you have a dream I don't I don't know where you're from or where you're listening to me you may be listening to me in your closet your bedroom the gym the car the bus the train the plane I don't know where you're going but I know you are going somewhere you've got a destination people that make excuses are not connected to their destination they don't have an end game, they don't have a goal. You have allowed yourself to become a weak link covered under the blanket of excuses. But I'm just wondering if there's anybody here that has a dream. And if you've made your excuses bigger than your dream, the time is now to apply pressure. It may not be easy, but it's not impossible. This is not a I feel like it today. This is not an unmotivated for a week. This is an every single day mentality. You may have to work three times. You may have to lose sleep. You may have to go to college and raise five children and still maintain your marriage and work your side hustle. I don't know what your story is, but if you will keep a no excuse mentality, then the sky is not your limit. The sky is your starting point. This is an every single day mentality. I never get turned off. Every single day, I want my destiny. I want my dream. When somebody is in love with who they've been called to become, what they've been called to fulfill, what they've been destined to do, there is no day off. There are no light, listen, I'm not a light switch, you can't turn me off. I can never get turned off. Every single day, I'm giving everything I have. That's how big my dream is. And so there's no excuse, there's no pain, there's no dilemma, there are no speed bumps, there's no distraction that can turn me off. I'm not a light switch. You can't turn me off. I want this thing every single day. If it's important to you, you're going to find a way. You won't have to look for a resource. You will become resourceful. It's not always about the accomplishment. It's about the effort. If we can just keep that effort going, the excuse is irrelevant. You got to be stronger than your excuses. Excuses don't get results. Now we've got to go through the process of being stronger than our excuses. We get one opportunity to come this way. We get one shot, we got one life to live. Life is too short to make excuses. Truth is, everybody's got purpose, right? Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got something they have to pass or achieve or become. But we are generationally programmed to love convenience. 
And the truth of the matter is, it is so convenient to make an excuse. I want to give you just a few things that you can do to help you to stop making excuses, to help you to stop habitually gravitating to the place called convenience. If you can hear my voice, you've got work to do. You've got a destiny to fulfill. You've got a purpose to walk into. You've got a test to pass. You've got dots to connect, rooms to walk in, stages to stand on, and tables to sit down on. We all want to do something. We all want to be somebody. We all want to go somewhere. And if, we're, if these things are going to happen, we've got to stop habitually gravitating to excuse. Number one, you got to stop comparing yourself to everybody else. Rule number one, kill the comparison game. But well, well, I don't, I don't do it like them, and I, I don't say it like them, and I don't, I'm not as tall as them, and I'm not as strong as them, and I, I don't have the money that they have, I don't have the resources that they have, I don't. Well, the, the, the reason why I, I, I couldn't do it is because my parents weren't there for me, and the, the reason why I didn't get to go to college on a full ride because my coach he didn't create the highlight reel for, for the sports scholarship. The, the reason why, and so we we're, we're just programmed to blame everybody else. When will you look in the mirror and stop comparing yourself to everybody else? We compare ourselves to the way people look. We compare our stories to their stories and our relationship to their relationship. Every single day, the excuses that we make are like a warm blanket pooled over us, covering up the underlining issue of fear, the spirit, the personality of fear. Truth is, that the reason why you haven't done it is because you're afraid. Maybe if you could just listen to this a couple times, maybe you'll stop making so many excuses because the excuse is nothing but a cosmetic. It's makeup, it's a blanket, it's a convenience that we habitually gravitate to because it just makes us feel better. But the underlining issue, the underlining cancer, the inflammation is fear. We're afraid. We're afraid that if we give our best, the best isn't good enough. We're afraid because we're constantly comparing ourselves to other people. We're afraid that we won't be seen. We're afraid that people will change if we evolve. We're afraid that maybe we'll lose our friends if we began to shift our thinking. You have to have a marriage mentality when it comes to achieving what it is that's on the inside of you what it is that's in your head, to manifest it and hold it in your hands. You have to have a marriage mentality. The problem with many of you is you keep dating the idea, the potential of focus and success and determination and discipline. You're only disciplined once a week. You're only determined twice a week. You're only, you're only enthusiastic about the journey on Sundays or Wednesdays. Once you make a covenant, you know what? I'm gonna commit to this. You're gonna put the blood, you're gonna put the sweat, you're gonna put the tears in, you're gonna lose sleep, you're gonna go days without eating, you're gonna do whatever it takes to make the sacrifices necessary to manifest. There are too many people in your life who have left you. There are too many people in your life who have counted you out. There are too many people in your life who have whispered in your ear and said you'll be worse off without them. Prove them wrong! Keep loving those who have lied on you. Keep blessing those who have cursed you. Don't be bitter. Don't be frustrated. Listen, just remain faithful behind the scenes. Promotion is coming. Stages and opportunities are being prepared right now as you sacrifice in secret, as you put the work in in the dark room, as you do what is required to hold in your hand what you see in your hand. Sometimes I gotta look myself in the mirror, ask myself, is that all you got? Come on, you're prepared, you're conditioned, you've been beaten, you've been battered, you've been broken, you've been left for dead, but there's more, cause you're breathing and you feel it. So if you can feel it, you can push it, so push past. The truth of the matter is, that's not all you have. There's more left in you. I know you're tired. 
I know you're weary. I know you've been brought to tears. All the blood, all the sweat, all the sacrifice, all of the suffering. I know you want to quit right now, but this is not the time to let go. This is not the time to doubt. This is not the time to quit. Keep going. Use it to your advantage. See the pain as a stage. See the pain as a plane. See the pain as an opportunity. You gave me an opportunity to reinvent myself. You gave me an opportunity to come out of my grave that you put me in. You left me for dead. I'm coming out alive. I'm coming out kicking. I'm coming out swinging. You left me and thought I wouldn't overcome. You forgot about me. You let go and thought I couldn't survive it. But I'm here. It's not always about people. Sometimes life, oftentimes, most of the times, life will bloody your nose. Life will leave you in a cardiac arrest. Life will leave you in an accident. Life will knock you upside your head. And there you get back up again. Be the pain, because there's more left. I'm talking to that person in the hospital bed. I'm talking to that person that lost their mother. I'm talking to that person that lost their father. I'm talking to that person who didn't get picked on the team. I'm talking to that stay-at-home mom. I'm talking to that future engineer. I'm talking to that future entrepreneur, that hustler. I'm talking to that person who's been called to do something nobody's done in their family. I know you're going through an unprecedented amount of pain, but you can press through it. If you can feel it, you can lift it. The time is now to do what has never been done. You lost the pain. Use the pain! Use the pain! So I hear the crowds calling. And even if they're silent, I will call myself. Why is it that we go through life and we feel like we can live without pain, that we can avoid pain, that we can go under it or go around it. Pain is like pressure. And without pressure, there is no diamond. And I'm just wondering if there's anybody out there that's listening to me that is sick and tired of complaining about the pain. I don't make enough. They didn't believe in me. They weren't there. They didn't see it. They didn't pick me. I didn't get the raise. I didn't get the promotion. She walked out on me. He abused me. My kids are ignoring me. My teenagers are driving me crazy. I'm just wondering if there's anybody that want to stop complaining about it and is going to use it to your advantage. Imagine if you could use pain as a fuel. Imagine if you could use the pain as a passport. Imagine if you could use the pain to push you, to condition you, to prepare you for the stages and the rooms you've got to walk into and the tables you've got to sit at and the stages you have to stand on. What if the pain can make you better? What if the pain could build muscle? What if the pain could cause you to reach higher, to leap farther, to run faster? What if the pain could help you? What if all pain isn't hurt, but it's help? Because you wouldn't have prayed like you pray had you not been hurt. You wouldn't love like you love had you not been hurt because you know what it's like to hate somebody. So you refuse to go down that path. Use the pain. A musician plays his instrument, play pain, play it. When pain shows up at your door, when people try to inject it, inflict it, use it to your advantage. Oftentimes, it feels like it is impossible, an insurmountable feat to get past the beating. But as long as I can feel it, I'm not in a state of paralysis. If you can feel it, you can move it. I can feel this, I can move this. I'm not paralyzed, I can feel this. It's heavy, but it's gotta get out of my way. When life throws you a weight, lift it. Ah, ah. I'm not complaining because life got heavier. I'm celebrating because I'm getting stronger. Let's go! Use the pain! Your perspective is everything. 
you got to see this thing differently. You got to find a mirror and see this thing differently. And I got to speak these affirmations and I have to believe, I have to believe, even if I'm bleeding, even if I'm broken, I have to believe that this came to help me, not hurt me. It made me better. I'm not bitter. I'm wiser. I'm conditioned now. I see this thing differently now. I'm able to move and navigate and breathe different and talk different and walk different and build differently. I'm not building out of anger and revenge. I'm building from a place of abundance. Pain is inevitable and it is unavoidable. You cannot live without pain. But how you navigate that pain will determine how you propel into your purpose. Use the pain, use the pain to push you into a place of abundance. Use the pain to push you into a place where your very existence is life-giving. Use the pain, not for revenge, but for fulfillment. I, I don't want you to die because you wanted me to die. I don't hate you because you hate me. I don't want you, I don't want you to lose everything even though you took everything from me. I want everybody to win. If you can hear my voice, I want you to win. I'm talking to people that have lied on me. I'm talking to the people that have given up on me. I'm talking to the people that have walked out on me after I gave you everything. I'm talking to you. I want you to win. I want everybody to win. That's how you know you've used the pain. Not to inflict pain, but you've converted that pain into fuel. And so there needs to be a conversation on the inside of you about conversion convert the pain into fuel not payback payback is for punks I don't need you to hurt like you hurt me I want you to win because I want to be better I got to be bigger I got to be the better human being I got to be the one who is existing that's life-giving I got to be the one that can do better I got to be the one that after you knock me off of the mountain after you push me off of the hill after you drag me off the staircase I was climbing after I wiped the blood out of my eyes and spit up whatever I need to spit up and cough up whatever I need to cough up I'm coming back to help you I need everybody to win Pain is inevitable and it is unavoidable. The question is, can you leave where you've been? Can you close the gap between pain and promise? So it's time to come face to face with pain. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, how much more can you take? Ask yourself the question, is this all you got? The more you run and the more you lift and the more you train and the more you dance and the more you sing and the more you advance into the beauty, the brilliance of your future, the more that you move forward and you advance and you do it for your mother, you do it for your father, you do it for the one that believed in you, you do it for God himself who put you on this planet to make an impact and leave a legacy. Ask the pain one question, is this all you have? Is this all you got? Well, I'm lifting these weights. I know it hurts, but ask that dumbbell. Is that all you got? Ask that treadmill. Is that all you got? When you're in rehearsal, when you're practicing again, when you're beating on your crab, ask yourself, is this all you got? Self, I got more in me. You thought you were empty, but you had a quarter tank. Some of you had half a tank. Some of you had three quarters of a tank. There's more in you. My content creators, my entrepreneurs, my musicians, come on, my keynote speakers, my captains of industries, my CEOs, from the captain to the cashier, there is more in you. It hurts when we hit the, the gym. It hurts when we're lifting these weights and we're trying to accomplish a goal. It hurts, it's painful, it's daunting, it's cumbersome. I don't want to do it. I'm sweating. I'm, I'm bleeding. I'm crying. I'm suffering. But after I've suffered, there is a reward. Stay at home father, stay at home mother, lawyer, doctor, hygienist, author. I don't know who you are, where you're from, but there's more in you. You may be hurting. You may be dying on the inside, but you still got life left. You gave them everything you had, and they left you for dead. I know what that feels like, to be left for dead after you gave everything you had. I know what it feels like. 
you give and you pour and you sow and you believe and you give them everything you have and they leave you for dead. And you are either going to lie in a state of paralysis or feel the pain. The truth of the matter is if you can feel it, you still got life left in you. Close the gap between pain and promise. The gap is closing. The gap is closing. The gap is closing. The gap is closing today. Use the pain! Use the pain! Use the pain! You may be average, you may be ordinary, but you have the opportunity every single day to make extraordinary decisions. And what you do today will determine your future. The future is very expensive. The currency to get to the future, the bridge that we build, it is built on your daily decisions, your habits, your programming, the way that you think, the way that you talk, the way that you walk. Blood, sweat, tears, sacrifice, people that you have to let go, sleep that you have to lose, multiple jobs that you have to work, hours on end of study, beating on your craft every single day. It's not easy, but it's worth it. There are going to be nights you're going to cry yourself to sleep. There are going to be times you're going to want to throw in the towel. But if you keep going, your future self will thank you. If you can hear your future self talking to you now, the future you would say thank you for not giving up. Thank you for not throwing in the towel. Thank you for not allowing the despair and the anguish and the anger and the bitterness and the jealousy and the ego to eat away at your progress and your perseverance and your ability to travail and endure. I believe in the future, number one. You gotta get crystal clear about who you believe you've been destined to be. Because everybody's looking to manifest. We are all looking to evolve. We are all looking to level up. What is your life's purpose? What is your destiny? Why on earth are you here? What is it that you can do today to get closer to the fulfillment of that future? To get closer to the manifestation of the future? What are you doing today? What are you giving today? Remember why you had to let some people go. Remember why you're working so hard towards this thing. You're pressing, you're pushing, you're clawing, you're dragging yourself through mud and through murky water. Come on, remember why you're doing what you're doing. It may be difficult. It may seem impossible. The moment that you discover why you're here, spend the rest of your life Execute. There are going to be times when you give everything you have. And everything that you have is not enough. Push through the pain. Push through the anguish. Push through the brokenness. Do not stop. It's the no quit mentality. Wherever you are now is not where you're going to end up. You are special, and you've been designed to change the world. So many of us want so many different things, and our life is filled with entertainment, and recreation, and people that we have not appraised. Have you appraised your connections? Have you done a scrupulous evaluation of everyone in your life? Are they assets or are they liabilities? Yes, you want the future, but what's your plan? And then the moment that you create the plan and you've ironed out all the kinks and you're crystal clear and you've got this plan, you've got this aim, this target, then you gotta stay committed. With tears in your eyes, you gotta be committed when your brain is hurting. You gotta be committed when you haven't gotten sleep in a few days. You gotta be committed. You gotta plow through that depression, that heaviness, that weariness and you gotta cling to the joy of the thought of the future that if you 
finish this course, then there is a reward at the end of this pain. You may feel as though you are not able to breathe now. You may be inundated with responsibility and it seems as though there is no way out of this. You have to be grateful for the ground that you've gained and guard the ground that you've gained. Celebrate the small wins. If we keep looking at the big picture, if we keep looking at the end game, if that's all we fix our eyes on, then we'll get off kilter, we'll lose our footing, and we'll walk around discouraged because you're not gonna just wake up in one day and fulfill destiny. It's the process that's perfecting us. It's the ins and the outs and the nuances. It's the song and the dance between destiny and the journey and the process and the promise. And we've gotta learn how to execute the day. Give us this day. You gotta learn how to execute the day. Did you conquer the day? I'm not where I'm supposed to be, but I'm not where I used to be. And so we've gotta celebrate the small wins. Those mental wins, those emotional wins, those relational wins, those financial wins, those spiritual wins. We've got we've gotta celebrate, celebrate. And then we've got to be kind, not only to others throughout our process, but we've got to be kind to ourselves. The problem with many of us is that we're not kind to ourselves. Be kind to yourself. You can be assertive, you can be direct, you can be firm, but you can have a little empathy and a little kindness, not only on others, but on yourself. Because the truth of the matter is you are not going to always feel like doing what you were designed to do. Okay, and so we've got to condition ourselves for the stretch. With gratitude, we're going to need that coupled with patience. The future takes time to manifest. The future takes time because you are beautifully equipped to get the results you are currently getting and there are some bigger results that you are after and in order to get those results, in order to manifest that very specific future, you're going to have to acquire a different set of skills, a different work mentality. It's going to require you to become a different version of yourself. Elevation is all over you. Okay, next you gotta seize the opportunity. There are so many opportunities for you to grow, so many opportunities for you to learn, so many opportunities for you to share, for you to give, for you to understand, for you to think, for you to be quiet, for you to speak. And you've got to know when to do, what to do, why to do. This is the paradigm of the future. The future has a specific paradigm that you have to execute. You have to walk in this. You're going to have to move from limited beliefs and you're going to have to move into limitless believing. You have to know your boundaries, establish your guardrails. You gotta know your weaknesses and your strengths. Do not stop! It's the no quit mentality!